Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we will understand how you can read the data from any of the file in Python. So as we have understood about the writing a file was absolutely simple and we have the methods that we can use to write the data into the file. Similarly, for reading the data from the file is absolutely simple and easy task. So let me quickly create a new file and I will say read demo. Okay, so as we have understood that we have the method or function which is basically to open the file, right? So to open, open is the method which will open and return the file object. So we can say, for example, this is my text file. So write demo.txt which has these four lines. I want to read this particular data and print it on the console. So first thing we will do is we'll basically open the file. So we'll say open, we'll use the method open and we'll provide the file name, which is basically write demo.txt and the mode. So now in the write mode, we used to use the W, which is basically the write mode. Now we are reading the file, so we'll use R instead of W. So now we have opened the file, this particular text file, and we want to read the data from that particular file. The next step is to read the data, right? So to use, to write the data into a file, we use the method write. Now to read the data, there is a method read, which will read all the content of the file, okay? And then simply close the file. So after reading the file or the data, we have to make sure that we close the file properly so that if you, in future, if you are performing other operations, they are functioning properly. So let's print this on the console because it will read the data and won't print if we don't use the print statement. Now let me run this and you will see the content of the file has been printed successfully on the console. Okay. Now this read function gets or fetches the complete information that is there in the file and prints the whole of it. Right. Now, say for example, there are scenarios if you want to read line by line and not the complete data, then in that particular case, there is a method in Python, which is basically read line. Okay. So I can simply say print f dot read line. Okay. So let me comment this out and then we'll simply say f dot read line, which will basically read the first line in this particular write demo dot text file. And we can simply say after reading the first line, if you want to close, we will close the file, right? So f dot close. If I run this now, only first line will be printed. If you want to read more lines, I can simply use the same statement here again, and it will read the second line in this particular case. So first line, this statement reads the first line and the second statement reads the second line in the file. The better approaches to do this, you can use the for loops to basically iterate and see the existence of the line in the file and then print those lines one by one if required. So these things we'll cover when we go to the automation section and how we'll be practically using all this concept. But in order to read a file, these are the only key things that you need to remember. Opening the file, there is a method read and read line to basically read will read the whole file. Read line will read the contents of the file one by one and the mode. So R is the mode for read and you can use R plus as well, which is basically mode for reading and writing. So you can use R plus. So what this R plus will do is you can read the content as well. And if say, for example, you want to write at the same time, so I can also do something like again, open the file after reading the content. Say, for example, I want to write some content there. So I can simply again, open the file in the next statement and I can say F dot write. Okay. And here instead of, so yeah, let's, if it is read, write. So let's say if I say write and then write some content. So I'll say some content and then close. So F dot close. So now some content will be written in this write demo.txt. So if I run this, you will see that first it has read the two lines which has been printed on the console. And if you go to the write demo, you will see that it has printed some content. Basically, it has overwritten the content that is there, right? So if say, for example, there is more content, then it will override the whole content. So let's say here I have a lot more content. So this 
Okay, if I run this, you will see the whole file got overwritten, right? So you can see now some content has been printed in this write demo. So with this read write mode as well, it won't append. If you want to append the content, you have to make sure that you use the A instead of read write as well. Okay, so that's the key thing to remember about the modes in the file operations or file IO in Python. Okay, so now you can see that it has again appended a lot more content there. Okay, so this is about the read and basically how to read the contents from the file and the read write mode within the file. Now here you would have seen that I have to use F dot close everywhere whenever I'm performing the operation after the operation I have to close the file properly and this you have to remember many times or whenever you are using or opening the file and writing data or reading data. Now there is a better approach to tackle this particular situation and I'll discuss about that better approach which is the with keyword in the next tutorial. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.